Okay, well, fifth grade, our focus today is going to be on the U.S. customary units of weight. That's what we're going to be focusing on. And there's a couple of conversions that you need to be aware of for weight. First of all, with weight, we deal with ounces, pounds, and tons. Those are three units uh, that I'm sure you are somewhat familiar with. And the two conversions that you need to be aware of are, first of all, 16 ounces, OZ is the abbreviation for ounces, equals one pound. And LB is the abbreviation for pound. And then the other conversion you need to be aware of is that 2,000 pounds equals one ton. And the capital T is the abbreviation for ton. So we're just gonna look at a couple of examples and your first set of directions are going to tell you to convert. Well, you're just gonna have to convert uh, pounds and tons and ounces and pounds. So first, I'm gonna just freeze that there for about 30 seconds if you wanna write those down. Those are some units that you're going to want to be aware of. So let's take a look at example one. Let's say that we have 96 ounces equals one pound. Well, just to, like in all of our other conversions, we want to look at what's bigger, one ounce or one pound. And since it takes 16 ounces to make one pound, we know that one pound is bigger than one ounce. So our measurement is getting bigger, which means our number is going to get smaller. Actually, this shouldn't say one pound, my mistake. That should be a blank. It's 16 ounces that equal one pound. It says that 96 ounces is becoming one pound. And since it takes 16 ounces to make one pound, we know that one ounce is smaller than one pound because it takes 16 ounces to make one pound. So from one ounce to one pound, my measurement is getting bigger, which means my number is getting smaller, which means I'm going to divide. And since it takes 16 ounces to make one pound, I'm gonna be doing 96 divided by 16. That's a basic division problem, which for you as fifth graders isn't that hard. You do 96 divided by 16. You find that that's six, 96 ounces equals six pounds. Now, let's say for example that we have uh, nine pounds equals so many ounces. Well, we've already established that 16 ounces make one pound. So one pound is bigger than one ounce. One pound is bigger than one ounce. So I know what I'm gonna have to do, since the measurement is getting smaller and the number is getting bigger, this is gonna be multiplication, which means that since there's 16 pounds and one ounce, I'm gonna be doing 16 times nine. Well, nine times six is 54. Put the four down, carry the five. Nine times one is nine. Plus five is 14. 16 times nine is 144. Nine pounds equals 144 ounces. Let's do one more. Uh, let's say for example that I have 40,000 pounds. And I'm gonna to try to figure out how many tons that is. Well, in my conversion, we've already seen that 2,000 pounds equals one ton. So one pound is significantly smaller than one ton because it takes 2,000 pounds to make one ton. So when I go back here, I know that 40,000 pounds is equaling so many tons. And I know that one pound is less than one ton. So my measurement is getting bigger, which means my number is getting smaller, which means I'm dividing. And since it's 2,000 pounds, that equals one ton, I'm taking 40,000 and dividing it by 2,000. 
All right, that's what I'm doing. Now, remember here, I can use the zeros trick. I can do four divided by two, that's the basic fact. Four divided by two is two. So I know that two is gonna be part of my answer. But then I cancel out zeros. I cancel out one zero here, 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 one zero here. This side has one zero left. It just becomes part of my answer. My final answer is 20. Now, you're also going to have to do the same thing just with the symbols less than, greater than, equal to. You're going to have to use those symbols. For example, it might say, well, 50 ounces and 4 pounds. Now, in this in these situations, to me, I always like to multiply, which means I like to take the bigger unit and turn it into the smaller unit. Since I know that one pound is bigger than one ounce, what I want to do is take the four pounds and turn it into ounces. Well, we have to go back and remember what the conversion is between pounds and ounces. And then hopefully you wrote that down when we were frozen on there. You remember that 16 pounds equals one ounce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 16 times 4 to figure out how many ounces that is. Well, 4 times 6 is 24. Put the 4 down, carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. Okay? I find that 4 pounds is equal to 64 ounces. All right? Which means that 4 pounds is bigger than 50 ounces. Now, let's say, for example that I have 9,000 pounds and I have four tons. I wanna to figure out which is bigger, which is smaller. Well, once again, I know that the conversion is 2,000 pounds equals one ton. I remember that that's the conversion. So pounds, one pound is less than one ton which means what I want to do, because at least for me, Mr. Swag prefers to multiply, I want to turn the tons into pounds. And since it's 2,000 pounds that equal one ton, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and do 2,000 times 4. Once again, I just use my zero trick with multiplication. My basic fact is 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. And then all of these zeros after the main numbers that I was multiplying just get added to the answer. So there's no zeros here, but over here there's one, two, three zeros that all need to become part of my answer. Four tons is equivalent to 8,000 pounds. So I go back to compare, and well, over here I had 9,000 pounds. Over here, I had four tons, which is equal to 8,000 pounds. So here I see that 9,000 pounds is bigger. And that's what we're going to be converting. Uh, fifth grade, I will be available to help you with worksheet 10.3 weight on Monday, April 20. All right. Talk to you later, fifth grade. Have a good day.